after a while of tying flies, I'm sure this has happened to you, all your flies some, uh, end up in uh, the ones that you don't use, end up in some little box like this. You know, so here's some experimental ones I was doing. Uh, and uh, sometimes you have some nice ones you say, man, I wish I could, you know, put them in a little display case to do something with them. You could get ex get expensive box, like these wooden fancy ones, you know. It'd be alright, but I could show you how you could get a simple display case just by going to your local supermarket and picking up one of these simple boxes and make your own display. Let's, let's go. To find those picture frames, go to your local supermarket and we'll go to the frame aisle and we can pick it up right over there. Let's go. In the picture frame aisle, you can see all the varieties of frames, but the one that you're looking for is the one right here. Looks like a little box, like here. You could pick up these boxes. You pick them up in your local supermarket. Let's go and check it out. There's also a selection of sizes that you could get from the large ones to the medium ones. Here's some items that you will need for your project some scissors, some glue or goop, a cutting knife or, or a knife, and type of st type of foam that we could use, or you could use cork, and then you got your box. After you take the plastic off, separate the box from, from the plastic, put away your cover. On the box, you want to start finding out what location you want to put your flies in. Maybe you want to set them up like this. You could set them up for going down, or you could set them anyway. Or you could actually do, you could actually put a picture and set up a few flies if you got a, one, a box that is big enough. You could even go like that. Hmm? I'm, what I could do is I could do like this. That might be interesting. Like that. For the lighter color flies, if you want a darker background, you could use contact paper and you could actually come in put it there and then you could have more of a contrast and then you could see your lighter color flies and have <clears throat> now you could do the same thing with cork but you it's gonna be much harder if you don't have if you don't have the foam to make your little foam squares you have to. You could do it with cork, but you have to be very careful with the razor blade. Put it in a nice, steady place and cut them. The main idea is to have these little squares almost the same size. So when you put them on each corner, they stay about the same height. Then what we do, we're gonna do is with a little goop. And come in with stick the paper. On there, and stick it about there. And then we we'll stick these little foam things on every corner. One with the glue. Two, three, four. They'll be like little pillars. They'll keep keep it up. Then you get the little glue. Stick your picture on there, about there. Then the other picture, pop the little glue. Put the other picture on there. Now for the fly positions, you want to make these little foam things a little bit smaller. So you could, oops, without losing them, you could trim them small. And then you could do is you could stick them about like that. You want to get an idea how how big your flies are. Most of the time I do is I come over and I 
I put the flies in the arrangements I want. Uh, where's the other fly? Like that. And I mark him with a little marker. One. See, because this fly is all the way over here, you see? Two, and then this one's over here. And then, I use the glue, and I could stick the little cork things on here. Oh, it's a little bit too much. You don't have to stick, you don't have to use that much. And there's another one. I'm coming to trim it. Right about there. Now you let that dry for a little while. And then what you happen is that you when you pop that fly, that fly will actually stick right on that cork like that. Once your little foam piece is dry, then you could get your flies and stick them on those foam pieces. After they foam pieces, then you get your cover, cover it carefully, hold it down, and there you go. And you can see that the flies are not being crushed because they're being actually lifted up. You could also do is put a little glue on these corners, but sometimes they'll stay just like that. So that's how you get it like that. Very simple, easy to make. You could do any design you want, you know. And uh, well, once you're done with the project, find a nice spot. Hang it up, and you're done, quick and easy. All right, I hope you enjoy this, and it's informative. You can put it any way you want it, come up with your own ideas, have fun, enjoy. Mm -hmm.